just want to thank everybody for coming this morning. My name is Alan Petrus, and this is the 59 second Power Persuader. All right, what I'll be covering today is how to capture people's attention and get them to take action in less than a minute. And it's a simple system that you can use for blogs. You can use it for your content marketing. You can use it for Facebook, um, elevator, spe elevator speeches, sales presentations, TV commercials. Um, now, I'll be revealing all this and more in just a minute. But first, I have some bad news. This presentation isn't 59 seconds, Dave. <laughs> I can tell you're already over time. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know you were thinking that. So that's the bad news. With that, we'll move to the next one. This is a goldfish. And this fish is going to show us how to be a powerful persuader. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, I'm going to tell you what I'll be talking about today. Um, the first thing we'll be going over is how to avoid the biggest mistake that people make when they open their mouth. And then we'll be covering a four-step process for putting together a blog article, uh, putting together your 60-second elevator speech. And then there's a silver bullet technique for features, advantages, and benefits. Everybody knows what features, advantages, and benefits are? Okay, good. And then uh, you've got some uh, cheat sheets in front of you that you can write stuff down. I also have another one uh, that I'll be handing out. It's a fill in the blank, 59 second uh, uh, template kind of thing. Just gives you some words that you can take and just plug in uh, to your own. So back to our goldfish. This goldfish is just happy swimming along in the water. Along comes a fisherman. The goldfish asks, who are you? And the fisherman says, well, I'm a fisherman, and I catch fish. Well, upon hearing that, what's a goldfish going to do? Swim away. They don't want to be caught. Um, and that's kind of what we do with our messages. Uh, when somebody asks us, well, what do you do? Well, I'm a mortgage lender, and I uh, loan people money. Oh, don't sell me. And they run away. The biggest mistake that people make, the majority of people talk about themselves and what they do. If you want to persuade people, you need to avoid this. <laughs> now, we've got some people that are in the HBBA here. Listen to the people go around and give their 60 seconds and they're going to say, Hi, my name's Bob. And I'm with uh, XYZ Pest Control, and we help get rid of those bugs in your bed, and, uh, and, and so they talk about what they do. If you want to persuade anyone, you must do this, because successful persuaders learn how to talk to their audience with what is important to them. Now let's relate this back to our fish. I'll give you a minute to write that down. It's a good thing I have you filling out the handouts, uh, you know, filling out the information, because otherwise they'd be whew, just flying along. <laughs> so back to our fish. The fisherman likes pizza, but he wants to catch fish. I see this, I and, and, and Brian and Cindy, you could probably... Uh, relate to this when dealing with business owners is they think that everybody thinks like they do and their customers don't. Their customers think differently. So if you want to bring customers in, you need to speak their language. You need to uh, talk about what's appealing to them. So the fisherman, the pizza is appealing to him, but that's not going to be appealing to the fish. So he's got to understand the fish and what's important to the fish, the worm. You must communicate with your customers in a way they understand. One thing that you want to do when you meet somebody first time, and this will be a great research because it will give you an idea of what's going on in their mind, and that is what is your most pressing issue or problem regarding 
your health insurance? What's your most pressing issue regarding uh, getting financing for your home or looking for financing for your home? Number two, what is your greatest fear about that? I mean, what are you worried about? Oh, I don't want to be sold. You know, uh, you know I don't want to you know, sign something and then have the person change the rates two weeks down the line. Um, and what is your dream regarding that? Now, what are we getting into? We're getting into pain, we're getting into fear, and we're getting into pleasure. And these are motivators. And they get us to take action. And we're asking our customers. We may think we know. Huh. I know myself. I've learned a lot. <laughs> so so the, let's jump into the four-step formula. You have a problem. I forgot what that problem is. <laughs> You see. Oh yeah, here's your problem. <laughs> this is your audience. And they're bombarded with thousands upon thousands of messages a day. They're like Chris sitting at home late at night watching that TV program being subjected to those TV commercials. After a couple minutes, Chris looks like this. Very true. <laughs> And, and that's what happens is we get in this zombie state. Well, before, before your audience will listen to you, you have to wave them up. You need to capture their attention. Now, you filled in the blanks. The mind fills in the blanks. How is it? And that's immediate. That's automatic. Subconsciously, our brain does that. And that's one of the tricks, actually, uh, one of the, the keys uh, with the next, well, with this, with this method right here. And that leads us to our first step, which is attention. And you can also put headline. So if you're writing that blog article, um, or you're posting something on Twitter or Facebook, this would be your attention, this would be your headline. Now, there are seven ways to capture attention. The first is shock. And I'll give you some examples on these, too. Second is awe. The third, curiosity. The fourth, humor. The fifth, ask a question. Six is incongruity, inconsistency, something odd. And seven is familiar. Oh, that's a cat. Oh, that's a kitten. Boom. You know, and, and that's where, um, I'm going to just <clears throat> plug this right now, and I'll be talking about it later, but I'll be doing a follow-up presentation coming up, and it'll be on the unconscious and how you can tap people's unconscious uh, with things to capture their attention. So, uh, and familiar is one of those ways. But shock. Oh, this is a, the, the, I've got some headlines from rare.us, and I think they're great headlines, uh, rare.us website. You'll be totally creeped out when you see what a woman found in this office toilet. And it shocks you what's, what's in the creep down the office toilet there. There's awe. Heartbroken puppy won't leave dead mother. Now, if you've got that on a headline, on a picture of the puppy, on the mother, I mean, that's going to be pretty compelling. Curiosity. Two-year-old boy adorably covers Elvis Classic. Two-year-old boy? Humor, epic mom fails on video, or you know, uh, humorous newscaster fails on video. That's a, another thing, uh, popular one. Obviously, humorous videos are very popular. Just take a look at the viral ones on YouTube. So if you want to go viral, 
Humor is a great way to do it. Ask a question. Who wants to be wealthy? I'll give you an example of that. Um, uh, I was demonstrating a, a soccer rebounder goal uh, this summer. I was at soccer tournaments. And, uh, uh, you know, people would see it, but they'd just walk by. So um, I decided to change things up. I'd see a couple kids walk by and be like, hey, you know how to volley? And they'd be like, Psh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey, come on over here. Then I'd bring them over to the goal, and then I'd volley off it, volley the ball, and then I'd say, you know, and I'd do it about 20 times in a row before it hit the ground. I'd say, here, you try it. And then they'd jump on, and they'd be like, volley, volley, Psh, it's the ground. Volley, volley, boom, it's good. Wow, you made that look so easy. <laughs> now they're they're in it, they're using it, and now they're practicing on it. It's like, you know what, hey, I did it twice. How many times did you get up to? Well, I'm up to seven now, you know. Now they're using that, and that's kind of what we have to do with our copy. That's kind of what we have to do with our headline, is bring that person in. And when you ask a question, it's an interim. It stops you. Incongruity. Motorcyclist goes off on rock-throwing kid in the best possible way. Well, goes off in the best possible way. Mm -hmm. Familiar. Kid Rock releases video for his nude Ode to Americana and Classic Rock. What's familiar in that? Kid Rock, Classic Rock. Kid rock, classic rock. Now, you use a combination of these. So you use a combination of shock and curiosity and humor and incongruity in one headline, and now you've got a powerful mix, something that's going to grab, stop people in their tracks. Now let's use an example. Hi, my name is Alan with XYZ CPAs, and I provide bookkeeping, accounting, and tax services for my clients. So is Mary. <laughs> That's a typical. <laughs> this, is, this is your HBBA <laughs> or your, your Toastmasters. Yeah. Now, let's try this one emphasis. Small business owners, do you make these simple bookkeeping mistakes that could trigger an IRS audit and possibly land you in jail? <laughs> so does Mary. <laughs> there you protect you. <laughs> now, all right, Dean's with CPA firm XY, XYZ, and he gives his boring one. Now, Mary follows after him, all right, which one are you going to go to? Which one captures your attention? Which one's like, you know what, I think she knows what the heck she's talking about. So you got that lure and that little sparkly thing, that's why the spinner's on there, capture that fish, fish's attention. That's what your headline needs to do, it needs to capture their attention needs to interrupt them. Now, what's the next phase? Step two, interest. Now, what is interest? You can also put a slash here and put sub-headline. And I call this, you know, the gateway uh, between this and the next step. So this is a gateway between the first and the second, or the first and the third step. It's a transition. And there are two ways you can maintain interest. And one is Gary Halbert. He has the if-then intro. And the second is just stating your case. So the Gary Hilbert if-then intro goes something like this. If you want to lose weight starting today, then this will be the most important message you'll ever read. If you want to save in, on, on your health insurance, then this will be the most important message you read. If you want to avoid being taxed because you don't have health insurance, then this will be the most important message you ever read. Or get my flyer. Or you want to read further. You want to get them to go to that next step. Just take your case. Hi. My name is John Smith, and I discovered a great way you can lose weight and not give up any of your favorite foods. Wow. That sounds cool. I like pizza. I like burgers. I don't want to give that up, but I want to lose weight. So it leads you down to that next step. It's going to take a lot of exercise. <laughs> you eat whatever you want. Well, not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, the, the, one of the most important things that you do with your guys eating is how you start your day. Because uh, at your hormone levels, if you don't put something in your stomach, you, you get a hormone uh, called uh, cortisol, and that kicks in. 
And what cortisol does is it puts you in that fight or flight mode, conserve mode. So your body's conserving energy. And this is hardwired into us. So you do that. So that, that, that's really important. Um, all right, so now we got, we got them going. We got that interest. We got them going towards that hook. We're getting close. Hey, Ellen, does coffee count for something in your stomach in the morning? <laughs> What's coffee count? Coffee? Coffee count? Coffee count. <laughs> That's a liquid. That, uh, you, you need, I think you need just something solid. Actually, protein yeah. Protein is probably the best thing. Yeah. Just a simple protein. Yeah. Yeah. Good. The third step is desire slash body. Okay, this is the body of your copy. This is the meat and potatoes of your presentation. This is where you put the information. So the content in the, uh, the articles that you're writing, the blogs that you're posting. Now, seven ways to increase desire. One, bullets. Two, testimonials. Three, research, case studies. Now, I'll be going over examples on these, so don't worry if you're not keeping up with me. Four, stories. Five, facts, figures, and statistics. Six, celebrity, authority. And the last, is our feet and the silver bullet. So bullets. 13 foods you should avoid to lose weight. The one thing that every person should do if they want to lose weight. You don't do this. Numbers. So numbers are a way of doing bullets. You can also do um, top secret bullets. So a secret method for or there's the huge benefit in less time bullet. You can, uh, you can lose pounds a day in only, fit, in only five minutes of exercise. Um, there's how-to bullets. How to lose five pounds in five minutes. Uh, you won't lose in five minutes, but it'd take a longer period of time. Um, and then exclusive bullets. This unique pat patented formula Testimonials. John said, I can now sleep at night knowing my books are IRS proof and I won't go to jail. <laughs> Research case studies. 9 out of 10 dentists survey prefer XYZ brand mouthwash. People like that proof. Stories. Um, you mentioned before the video all right, um, that you and your son were watching, the trailer. And that was for Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. And George Lucas, the original Star Wars, is the hero journey. But you look across Hollywood films, and you see that hero journey. Now, if you can take and you can apply that story to your, maybe a customer or yourself, and you can talk about the before and the after, and then the pain that you felt in the course of that journey, that compels people. I mean, how Chris led off his presentation, talking about, what was that band? Led Zeppelin? Iron... Iron Butterfly? butterfly. <laughs> Iron the one that nobody remembers yeah, anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. And, and, and that, so that, it, that as a lead-off, you know, brought us in. We all like to hear stories. And the greatest storyteller of them all is Jesus. I mean, he told uh, complex things in simple terms and was able to do that with stories. Yeah, here, I was always ripped. Or no, I wasn't always ripped. I didn't always have six-pack abs. I was obese. In fact, I was so large, I almost died from a heart attack. And then, that got, and then you go into the story. Facts, figures, statistics. Now, picture your friends in your mind. Look at them and know one in three will have cancer. And they won't even know it. That's why it's called the silent killer. I don't know if that's true or not. But I'm using one that as an example. One in four, but you're one, close. one in three is accurate. Is it? Is no, it one, in, one in four. No, it's one in two men and one in three women are actually at risk of getting cancer in their lifetime. Wow. Wow. I, That's I so speak how many die from it? No, I speak on the topic. So it's one in two men are at risk of getting cancer, one in three women are at risk of getting cancer. One in four will die from it. One in four will die from it. Correct. Yeah. It's not good no matter what you say. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and, and that's where two leading off, right? Leading that off, what did I do? I did picture in your mind your friends. Mm -hmm. Look at them. And now one in three of them 
And, and so now it drives it home to that person. It personifies it. it, it and, and when you say picture it, I mean, that's a neuro-linguistic programming term. And then look, another neuro-linguistic programming term. Um, okay. So let me... Now, question for you. Does that have an impact? Because some people learn differently. So if you have a, if you have a visual learner, they're going to see that. But if you have an auditory learner, they might not necessarily grab the same concept or the kinesthetic learner. That's why it's called the silent killer. And that's why you want to listen to this message. You know, you can, gotcha. so you you can put different cues in there to, okay. to the different people because some people, there, there's the modalities, there's different modalities. And actually, I'll be getting into that in uh, my presentation, the next one. So, okay. um, but the different modalities with which we experience the world. Um, and you, if you can communicate that way to your customers, it's going to resonate with them. Right. So you can get all three of those at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See a plug in the next one. That, yeah, celebrity authorities. <laughs> Sarah Hagen, player on the U.S. women's national soccer team, regularly trains with Ultima Goal and loves it. This is actually a true one. Um, in January, my brother invented the Ultima Goal. That was that soccer training uh, device I was talking about. And in January, uh, she was doing a training camp. And I said, you know, hey, Sarah, you know, after she was done, and I talked with her about it, and she said, uh, um, I said, are you going to be in town? You know, I'd like to get together and show you a training session on this. And she said, sure. So uh, we scheduled a time for the next day. And I ran through an hour workout with her, all the different skills uh, that she could, well, not all of them, but I went through a variety of them that she can work on by herself. Um, and, you know, there was a couple areas she struggled with it, but after, I mean, she picked up on it really quick. So you could tell that she was a great athlete and that she had a lot of uh, uh, reaction time. I mean, she was trained well. So she would pick up on that really. But once again, for somebody that's into soccer, they'll be like, wow, you swim the national team. Boom. They'll read on that credibility, that celebrity, that authority. And we live in a celebrity of society. I mean, who the hell are the Kardashians? And where did they come from? <laughs> 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 All right. Features, advantages, benefits, and the silver bullet. Feature. XYZ flash drive holds 124 gigabytes of data. Making it the largest flash drive available yet conveniently fits in the palm of your hand. Now, you're that Best Buy sales rep, right? Ask any of these questions about the benefit. So, yet conveniently fits in the palm of your hand. So what? Yet conveniently fits. Why? Who cares, right? Now, this Best Buy salesman, he's sitting in the store, and he's got a mother with a screaming child. And he's showing her this thing. How much do you think she's interested in that? You know, ma'am, when your three-year-old daughter is screaming in your car, you can entertain her for hours with her entire movie collection stored on this drive. <laughs> it's driving that benefit home by answer, asking these three questions. Okay, the last step, action. We want people to take action. And actually, you know what? If you've done the, oh, the other thing with action is offer. So put a slash in offer. I have an offer in there as well. If you've done the first three steps well, action's a natural step. It's a natural progression. It flows seamlessly and smoothly. And, you know, it's like easier than taking a bone from a dog. Which, by the way, you give a dog a bone, try taking it back. It ain't getting it back. <laughs> you want to ask the person to do something and you want to give them reasons for taking action now and you also want to have two or more ways of contacting you you know sign up for my newsletter give me a call get a free consultation download the free report um, you want to have multiple ways of contact so some action, action examples so to get started today all you have to do is blank for no obligation consultation, simply blank or blank. Simply give us a call or check us out on the website. Getting started is easy. Simply download the power formula and get started today. Every day you waste is a day you could be saving your friends from cancer. Just give us a call to get the information so you know what warning signs to look for. Now, now that you know how to avoid the biggest mistake, 
Use the four-step persuasion formula mm -hmm. and use the silver bullet technique for features, advantages, and benefits. You're missing one key component. This is the grand pitch here. And it's the most powerful of them all. The 60-second video. Your powerful professional 60-second elevator speech on video. Small business owners. Are you working hard but still not getting ahead? Hi, my name is Mary Golden Lindstrom, CPA and founder of Focus CPA. We help and empower small business owners like you, reducing stress while improving your bottom line. At Focus CPA, we listen, make sense of the numbers, and help you focus your activities to get you where you want to be. We offer a full range of tax, accounting, and financial services to help you achieve this. Get a snapshot of your business's financial health by taking our free financial health checkup at our website or contact me at mary at focus-cpa.com to get your own personal copy. I wish you continued financial success. Uh, that's a 60 second video with Mary. Now, just a plain white background, but you can see her, you can hear her, it's like she's talking to you. You're sitting in the comfort of your computer, your living room, wherever you are, and it personifies that business. It makes it come to life. And if you've got that on a website, or YouTube, or Facebook, or LinkedIn, all right, it's gonna give you that one step closer to talking to that person, talking to that audience. So, with the 60 second video, you don't have to Memorize lines, you just read off the teleprompter. You don't have to feel awkward or embarrassed because I coach you to look and sound your convincing best. You don't have to worry about it looking unprofessional. With green screen technology, you look like you're on a custom set designed for you. Now we just did a plain white background there, but there are other videos. I mean you can have you could I can stick you in the park on the beach. I mean, outer space, space. Outer, space? <laughs> outer space, yes, the galaxy far, far away. With the scrolling? Yes. <laughs> you get to have a message scrolling in the back on the side. I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious too. Because that's creative, that's different. Yeah, put a cat on Then Blue will have that cat lying in space. Yes. A little rocket on the back. Nice. Thanks, Alan. And you'll know where to distribute the video because we help you with every step. So, unlike a lot of videos, this isn't you trying to talk in a noisy room, you working off your webcam on your computer, or a cluttered environment, it's not a flashy video, or a cheesy script, or some weak attempt at a viral video. When I put the 60 second video program together, when I analyze and, and, and looked at you know, what was the best way to do this, I looked at a lot of videos. I also analyzed the top TV producers. I can't tell you how many times I saw local television commercials and it was like nails on a chalkboard for me <laughs> because uh, uh, it was just so bad. Now, mind you, all right, uh, a handful of my clients, I do TV commercials and I have clients that are out there. Um, you know, they've been able to sell their businesses for millions of dollars. Others, I mean, I've got the largest RV, or, uh, uh, travel trailer, fifth wheel dealer in the state as one of my clients. Um, I've also put people out of business uh, because you know if you advertise and you bring customers in, if they don't back it up, those customers ain't gonna be coming back. And so I can actually accelerate your going out of business. So make sure you got your house in order, your business in order before I advertise, before you advertise. I also research the latest methods and technology and I study kick-ass copywriters, um, the best that are out there. Uh, there's the, the New Age, the Frank Kearns, the Gary Halberts, the John Carltons, the Dan Kennedys. There's uh, the old school. Um, you've got uh, Eugene Swartz, Claude Hopkins, John Caples, Robert Collier, Victor Schwab, um, and I've got all their books, David Ogilvy, and, uh, and read them all. But you forgot that the copywriting is one of the benefits what you do because I remember when I gave you my 60 second presentation you rewrote it. Hold that thought. Oh okay. All right. You're coming up next right okay. <laughs> and I came off with the one thing that stood out and that is the market lacked 
and affordable, systematized production method that consistently cranks out professional quality, high impact videos that can benefit virtually any business. There's this huge gap for that. So, how affordable? I'll cover that in a minute too. <laughs> sure, you can do video yourself. You'll spend hours and hours shooting. <laughs> You'll try looking natural while reading off a piece of paper. You always see that person, you know, their eyes are going over. It's like, hi, my name is Joe, just like I'm doing now as I'm reading off my presentation. Uh, you don't have to memorize la uh, lines and you'll still look unnatural. And you don't have to spend hours of time learning some editing program to put this thing together. But, your time spent on it is money lost. And every time that video plays, it reeks of cheap and amateurish. You know, that's your image, and is that what you want to portray? So, if you're wanting the real answer to quality video, here's what you can expect, and should expect, the 60 second video to deliver. If you want to create a professional image, generate sales on autopilot, brand you to your customers, Increase your search engine optimization and social media, which by the way, Google is or uh, YouTube is the second largest search engine out there. And have a powerful, done-for-you elevator speech. Then you're in the right place. Just ask. This is Dennis. He's with uh, President of Home Helpers, and uh, Al is a miracle worker. In a short time, we reworked the script, shot the video, and within a week, had it completed and ready. The video is excellent. I received many compliments on Alan's work. Alan was right, you don't have to be a movie star. He will make you appear to be one. Here's Mary. Alan made it simple. I worked with Alan to create a 60 second introduction video. He took away the intimidation and made the process easy for me. He made some script suggestions which greatly improved the quality. He coached me through the filming which made it more comfortable. I'm very happy with the final results. And here is uh, James Craigle. The process was very straightforward and efficient. I was amazed at the results. I would definitely recommend Alan to anyone I know who needs complete video services. They had three videos done, uh, by the way. And they did sell their business to a big multinational company. So mm -hmm. he did really well. So here's what you get with the 60 second video. Welcome to the 60 second introduction video. Getting your video put together is very easy yet is professional and effectively communicates your message. First, download the video worksheet form, fill it out, and email us your completed script. You'll also want to send over your business logo and any pictures you have that we could use in the video. When you come to the Advertising Rainmaker Production Studio for your video shoot, you'll stand in front of a green screen. All you have to do is read your script off the teleprompter and your work is done. Many past customers have been amazed how easy we make it for you. Next, we'll pick out a custom background that best fits your business, or you can send one to us from one of the many popular photo sites such as iStock Photo, Dreamstime, and more. We'll use a variety of shots, including full body, waist up, and chest and face. Also, on your video will be any contact information your prospect needs so they know the best way to reach you. Now your video is ready for production, and you'll be able to view it online in less than a week. Once your video is approved, you'll receive a DVD copy that you can play at trade shows or make multiple copies to use as a handout, mailer, and more. You'll also receive a CD with different versions of your video so you can put it in a PowerPoint presentation, on your phone, on a video sharing site, and a broadcast quality version if you want to run it on a local TV or cable station. We'll also create a YouTube channel for you, uploading your video to YouTube, giving you the best shot at ranking on the first page of a Google search. You'll be able to embed your YouTube video on your website or include it on your Facebook, link to it in your emails, tweet about it, and more. Plus, your video has a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you're not completely happy with your video, we will refund every penny. And don't forget to ask us about our program where you can get your 60 second introduction video for free. I'm not sure how long we'll be offering this limited time offer, so I would highly recommend you take advantage of it while it's available. Now your video can do your networking, selling, and lead generation for you, saving you time, money, and making your life a lot 
easier. Simply click on the button below to get started today on your 60 second introduction video. <laughs> so to recap, the 60 second uh, 60 second the 60 second video includes. See, that's why I have a script that I read off. Otherwise, <laughs> in studio green screen video shoot with you, where you read off, you read your script off the teleprompter. There's a custom background. Once again, beach, outer space, yeah. graphics and on-screen text. Your video on a playable DVD. Data CD with your video in the HD broadcast television format, YouTube, tablet, phone. I mean, you know, you carry it on your Kindle, carry it on your iPad, and upload it to your own YouTube channel. How much would it cost? Now, at a production studio, a video like that, probably be you know, upwards of $5,000. Um, if you were to do it by a freelancer, you're probably looking at two to $3,000. If you're at a television station or cable company, I mean, a 60 second video. Well, what does 60 second video cost? 500000 500, bucks. 500000 right. Minimal. Minimal? Right? Oh, the same. Yeah. And, that, and you usually have to do a, a TV schedule with that as well. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's, that, that, so they, and, and, and the way television, because I spent 13 years in broadcast television, um, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, the, the television commercial is, is the hook to get the advertiser in, and uh, it's even been given away for free uh, to get people started, um, but the, the production department isn't a profit center for a TV station, so they don't make money with that. And that's why you know, it's down there. Well, the good news is you don't have to pay that. It's not $9.97. It's not $7.50. It's only 497 bucks. Wow. Plus, as an added bonus, Price is right, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I will rewrite the copy oh. of the 60 second video draft you send me with the right words, structure, appeals, and psychology to get the results you want. <laughs> and that alone is a $500 value. Unless you already have a writer. Um, you know what? But send it across. I would, I would still send it across. Not at his level. I promise you. Probably not. Once you get the 60 second video, you'll want to show it to everyone. You'll be pleasantly surprised by people's comments about how professional you look and sound. And you'll love the results. More website hits, better image, more sales. Now if you order here today, you get all this. It's only 497 bucks. Wow. And you get the 100% satisfaction guarantee or your money back. So before I close the upcoming presentation, and I touched on a, a couple things, uh, but deep persuasion, the three brains, and how to use them to ethically persuade anyone. Brain shortcuts to quickly get what you want. And then methods and techniques to use neurolinguistic programming, heuristics, hypnotic language, and more. So that's it for me. Uh, any, any questions?